Hi, I'm Maimon, and welcome back to one of my videos on a series of home security, CCTV, and video surveillance systems. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pair a security camera to an ONVIF or ONVIF compliant security system, such as this HiCU and VR. What I mean by ONVIF is Open Network Video Interface Forum, which is basically this organization uh, based around IP-based security cameras. So they have these certain protocols in place that cameras such as this one follow. So ONVIF cameras should be able to pair with ONVIF compliant security systems such as this. And in our case, we have here a high CU camera pairing to a high CU NVR. And you might be intimidated by that same branding, but really any on ONVIF uh, compliant camera should be able to be paired with any other ONVIF compliant uh, system. So we also have a video on the camera itself, both the NVR kit and the HiCU. This one right here, we have a TZ HB312. We have separate videos on these cameras if you want to find out their features. I suggest you go check them out. They are an amazing budget camera. They're around $40. And right now we're going to set them up for our home. So go check it out. Behind me, you see the NVR is already set up with four cameras. This NVR already came paired with the cameras that we have here. So you can see over here that there's already four cameras that come with it. However, this NVR can support up to eight channels. So if I go into settings, you might be able to see that I can split this into eight of them. Now, these cameras already came paired with the system. It's called plug and play. But if you bought an additional camera like we did, or on the off chance that your system came with the cameras unpaired, then in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get to it. Oh, that rhymes. There are two ways to pair the cameras. Uh, the first way is the conventional way, which we'll show you in this video. And the other way is setting up through IP Pro, which is the app, which we'll show in a future video. Let's get to actually setting up the camera. Now, I should mention that looking at the manual, it doesn't seem like there's actually any indication of how to set it up using the uh, Ethernet. It usually only talks about setting it up as a standalone camera. So I have instructions right here how to do it. And let me just read them down first and then I'm going to put it into practice. First, you want to connect the camera in the NVR box with the Ethernet cable. Second, delete the IP disconnect camera. Three, right click the mouse video, manage, refresh, match code, auto add. Uh, four, use the same way to pair more camera. So these instructions are a bit weird because they're translated, but essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna try following them to the letter. First off, what we're going to do is we're going to connect them using the ethernet cable. So first what we need to do is turn this around. On the back of the port of the NVR, there is an Ethernet port right here. Okay, go here. Now we're going to connect them using the LAN port right here. And on the camera, there's a LAN port at the bottom uh, of one of the wires. Obviously, don't forget to plug in the camera. All right, so after you have them connected with the ethernet uh, cord, we're going to go to the NVR and we're going to right click to video manage. Now that you have this screen set up, and obviously if you haven't logged in before, uh, just log in. I think on new systems, there should be no password, so you should, you should be fine to just click okay. Now what you wanna do is you should try to look for, uh, we're gonna skip step two actually, cause that's for deleting a camera. We're going to actually look for video manage, which we already have here. Let me do that again. Right click, click video manage. The next step is to click refresh, which is right here. Top button. Let's see if something shows up. It's searching for information from one of the IP cams. As you can see, one of them has shown up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click match code. And then we're going to do wireless settings, please wait. Okay. 
So it looks right here, you see there's already four added devices and it found one abnormal device. That's the device that we haven't paired yet, but we are pairing right now. Oh, there we go. Added device, five. So it's updating it right now. You can see everything that's doing on the left here. I'm not going to even say it. Okay. IPC is already put in the chat. Wireless connection is successful. Okay, I think we can exit right now. Because it looks like it's refreshing the same thing. Exit. Ah. Okay. So there we go. We have five cameras set up now. Take a look at that. That bottom screen right there. That's the camera for this one. Okay, let me just make sure that everything everything is all right. Finally, let's do a volume check. Hello. 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 And there we go. The volume works, and you can see. <laughs> oh, you can also see uh, our brown ideas, I guess. Um, maybe look at Zombies Award. <laughs> I don't know why we have this here, but some cool things, I guess. Something we had to focus on for this video instead of the background because our dining room is a bit messy right now. But it looks, it looks like our camera's working. All right, so obviously when you first set this up, the camera quality might not look up to standard. It might look even worse than some of your other cameras. Let me try. So right now it's already pretty much adjusting. So you can see the quality is terrible compared to these other and this, this camera is actually supposed to be 2 megapixels, you know, 1920 by 1080. But after, after a while, you can see that it gets a, a used to, and it adjusts to the image. So, there we go. The image is now sharpening. And eventually, it reaches a point where it might be up to par with the other cameras. or additional setup might be needed. All right, so let's try just looking at this one camera. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> the quality looks way different here. On the small preview, it looks terrible, but maybe it's because it already adjusted, but as you can see, the quality looks pretty up to par. You can even recognize the text. Um, I think you can even see some of the text on my uh, card right here. So it looks like it has a five second delay, but wow. Okay, so it's not just a uh, a video about how to set up. I guess it's a video ex demonstrating the quality of th this camera. <laughs> okay. Right now we're gonna try to reset it and we're gonna try to do it in a much shorter time frame to see how fast we can do this. First, we're going to delete it. So obviously um, delete. All right, now, I don't know if this is necessary, but this right here is the reset button. I'm gonna reset it. Okay, usually this is blinking. Let me just make sure that this is also not showing up here. We're going to refresh this. All right, well, oh, hmm, okay. Usually that shouldn't show up, but I guess it doesn't matter. We're going to first we're going to set it up by plugging the internet cable in. We're going to refresh it, even though it's already refreshed. This is just for sake of showing you how to do it or summarizing it. As you see it's paired right there. Now we're going to click match code. We're gonna click five. Now it's updating. Put in the channel successfully. We're gonna wait for it to update once more. It's searching and adding again, so we're going to exit. And as you can see, in under maybe one minute, in under two minutes, we were able to set up the uh, camera. All right, so let's do one final test to make sure that it's paired because <laughs> I forgot this. 
We have to. We should unplug this to make sure that it's actually connected. Because if it's connected using the the LAN port or the Ethernet, then obviously it might be using the Ethernet. But wireless without a Ethernet connection, it seems to be working. Now, I just realized this also has an antenna, so maybe that's why the quality was bad. But the, the antenna is usually just for extending the range, so maybe it doesn't have any effect. But just in case, oops, just in case we'll do it. But for now. I think that's it. So in this video, I showed you how to pair an additional or unpaired camera to a, let me remember, OnVIF on uh, compliant system. Uh, in this case, high CU camera to a high CU system, but relatively should be all the same for all the other ones, uh, such as um, GW, Armcrest, um, Hikvision. But anyway, this process should be similar for all OnVIF on cameras, but for now, I think that's it. I've also done a video on how to set up this camera as a standalone camera, just using your phone to view it. Um, I had it set up before, but now it's not gonna be set up because it's already offline. I have a video on how to set up as a standalone camera, and I'm also gonna do a video in the future on how to switch your channels. So maybe if you want to switch this bottom channel to channel one, you know, swapping between channel one and five, how to do that. But for now, that's the end of the video. I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, like, comment, subscribe, and look at videos on I and Ayman. Especially keep a lookout, a lookout for videos about home security, CCTV, and uh, video surveillance. That's a mouthful. But I've done a lot of videos on this high CU system. There is a wonderful camera uh, system, especially a budget camera system, because come on, this is like $40, and it has a, just a ton of features. And I talk about these features in separate videos. So go check out those videos if you want to find out about those features. And I guess that's it. I'm Ayman and signing out. Peace.